We are in Windows Server 2012 R2. I'm going to show you how to add a shared clustered volume into your cluster. So you can see here that we're in the failover cluster manager. Under storage, we will go to disks and we see that there's available storage. So this is storage that we just brought on recently. We can highlight that storage, double click on it, and you can see it just shows up as the E drive. So we want this to be available to all of our clustered servers. So let's go over to where it says add cluster shared volumes. And you can see with it highlighted, it's pending. And this usually only takes a few seconds depending on the speed of your server. And then once it's done, we'll double click on it. You'll see the difference. Okay, so it's all done. It says it's a, cl a cluster shared volume. Double click on it. Now instead of saying the E drive, it now says it's the C cluster storage volume one. So let's go ahead and open up the file explorer c drive cluster storage volume one there it is